complete here. Today is the twenty second of May and we're continuing working on the Ostra project. Um Motosem, uh like can you post something to me on direct chat? On Slack? On Slack. Direct chat. Direct. Um, let me try this. I mean, if you click on uh, some yeah, yeah. Yes. thing, okay, just post anything. Got it. Thanks. I am not going to respond. Let's continue. So, sessions. So you, you remember like there was the story about uh, a st story about re uh, setting the uh, root path exactly. as that yeah. exactly yeah. so the pro uh, like uh, the functionality is working I just need uh, I just, I'm just trying to uh, find a way so that I can make this spec work mm. the problem is that uh, we uh, when we are going to the home page uh, of I mean the dashboard home it it's sending a redirect. But our spec can't do that, so that's the problem. I need to find a way around that. If I go to action. Oh. Yeah. Our spec get allow. I hope that works, I don't know. Oh, 
All right. Can't read. Uh, yeah, basically, I will just want to test if you know, whether I mean uh, the text. Uh, I mean the page has text or Sra login, mm. but I'm ha having problems with making sh like trying to use that. Like the uh, variable does not have text and something like that. So I'm just trying to find a way around that. There is no method has to have text for that. So, okay. Yeah, I I think you can't read what's written on the screen. The, the error message is like in red and it's very dark background, so the error message itself oh, okay. cannot read. Now? Uh, still the same. Okay, I just read it out for you. It says the line is read specifically, it's very difficult to read. Okay, I have better idea. Bad references. Colors, background. No one help. Sorry. So there's now. Um, I think it's worse. Now it's better. Better? Yeah, I mean the resolution is a little bit low, but I can oh. find oh, okay. out. Okay, now, now I get why it's so bad. I have to want it in used. Yeah, now I think it should be good. I mean, I've increased the resolution as much as I can. Yeah. I can see fatal error just uh, the remaining. Uh, Spawns. So. Give me one minute, please. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. This is kind of a hack, but since it doesn't work, so I have to do that. Then we go, login. Hold on. Yeah. 
I might, might need to go soon because there's a power cut here and I can't like my NPS won't last much longer so there is a what? there's a power cut here oh okay I see. I, I'll try to finish this up and then I can push this up to you but I can't really guarantee you so mm. well, sorry um, for, the, for the trouble I'm guessing I'll just leave the testing for later because I'm not sure if I can complete this, uh, mm -hmm. this up or not. No problem. No problem. You see, it's. It's variable names. Enter it buff. Okay, it buff. I mean, there has to be a better way, but let's just see if this works. There is a more shovel than here. That works finally. Okay. No, I mean this is the uh, this is a very hacky way of doing yeah. this. So. Uh, I do. <coughs> but I'm sure this will pass so I'll spec. Yeah, there we go. Now let's just do some mutation testing by doing mm, let's see hash here. And uh, what about this? If I remove this, okay, interesting. Yeah, so that works. Mm -hmm. Now, let me check this. What? I guess I'll need to go now, so it seems it's a very short hangout, but I, if you can continue working on this, then I'll just push up the incompleted uh, okay. spec. Right? You can uh, on, this and yeah, I just, I think you can continue working on this in this hangout if you want, and mm. uh, I mean, uh, uh, when I come back, I'll join you if you're still there. Sure, I, you think you will be gone for like 20, 30 minutes, or it's will be long? Yeah, maybe, I, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes. Okay, I'll, I'll be here, no problem. 
but it's on my remote uh, on the root part. Yeah, I'll uh, get the same way that I said. I hope I can push it up before that. Through the There you go, it's up there. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay then, I need to go. No problem. Thank you very much. Because I didn't do much. Oh, never mind. I can stay. Hello? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I, I, I probably just came back, so let's continue. Oh, okay. Hold on, let's start. Okay, so are you there? 
Yes, yes, I'm here. I was trying, I don't know where gone, I'm trying to share my screen, but for some reason it did not work. First thing I need to find out is like how to test page content and request back. Because that is kind of a pain. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. I was testing for the wrong thing. <coughs> yeah. So uh, it was a very simple solution. Oh, okay, okay. Let's bounce that body. So that is solved. Spec response the body the two. Okay, so the tests are done. Uh, now I think this is ready for a pull request. Okay. Hmm. 
Now the other thing I, that I was mentioning to you at the other, uh, other day was mm. uh, like if I can hold on, we just have this post. Have a look at the spec. Uh, no, the I mean, where is the validator? Yeah. Find that. Validator, yeah. So to check whether it is in future we are doing this, but there is a better way to do this, which I found the other day. It means if Rails includes a method called date dot future. So this could be a better oh. option. Mm -hmm. is it, is it? This way, make this dot future. Yeah. So let's just try that. See. And, uh, Can. So date dot today is in future, mm. but date dot tomorrow is in future. Yeah. So this works, and if I run the specs, okay. they should pass. Patience. What version of Rails are we on? What kind of, what migrations are we on? No, the, these, those are for the test database. Oh. I think if we upgrade to Rails 4.1, we won't have to deal with this, the, these the, problems. The yeah, test it, it, yeah it, it automatically manages that. You don't need to do it. Okay. Now, the next problem is here. Wait, what is that possibly? Was it before? 